We're at UW Sheboygan where tonight the Wombats take on UW Fond du Lac. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, our first uh, college game of the year, we're out here at Sheboygan and uh, the Wombats have had a tough season. Uh, they had, uh, I think, what'd you say, they lost two of their top three scorers that semester. Uh, they got a 3-12 and record going in and they lost to Fond du Lac the first time around, 70 to or 80 to 72, pardon me. Yeah, it's uh, been a rough year. Hey, it's nice to be out here again. We used to do games out here all the time, but some years they didn't have teams and things like that. And then the last few years, you know, just didn't get out here. But it's nice to be out here again. And, you know, it's always interesting to come out here, see players that used to play at Sheboygan Christian, Sheboygan Falls, Sheboygan North, kids that probably weren't the big stars of their teams. But they come out to a UW Center and they get a chance to play some more basketball in their lives. And what a great opportunity. It's a two-year school here. You only get two years to play. It's either a freshman, sophomore, and then if you're really good, you transfer to a bigger school and play maybe in Oshkosh or Concordia or something to that caliber. And we've had players out here that have done that and uh, actually been pretty successful at the next level of, of college play. Uh, let's talk a little bit about tonight, Chris. Uh, Sheboygan does have three guys that have played basically the whole year and got a lot of games in. Uh, not a lot of scoring, however. Core two, and forgot the last name. Core two, Josiah yeah. is their leading scorer at a, a little over 11 points a game. And then they got Lucas McKnight, who's a Sheboygan North grad, who drops way down to a little over two, but he's played in every game. Yeah, they, they got a couple guys, and unfortunately, they lost their, like you said, their first and third person. They, they do have uh, George Hawkins as well, so they got a couple of leads, but I remember Lucas McKnight, he did a heck of a job on the football field, and then he was one of those guys that, you know, Desatel always likes to get one of those guys that are bigger guy to scrounge a little bit in practice, and I remember Lucas getting in there is kind of like the seventh, eighth, ninth guy off the bench and things like that, so they have struggled this year, but Fond du Lac, they've struggled too. They're two and four, and like you mentioned before, uh, it was just an eight-point game last time they played. Last year, uh, talk about struggling, uh, they finished Fond du Lac, that is, finished the conference without a win. Sheboygan at least finished 4-8 and eight last year, but uh, it's been a struggle pretty much for both teams. Uh, we're going to step out right now, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's basketball game. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox, and PBS combined. Peg Access channels provide communities with a diverse, independent, and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. In Wisconsin, the laws are the same for bicyclists and motorists. So if you bike, ride with the traffic and obey stop signs and lights. Whether you ride a bike or drive a car, you must yield the right-of-way to pedestrians at marked and unmarked crosswalks. At intersections, always look for pedestrians before making a turn. And slow down in school zones and neighborhoods to keep our kids safe. Share and be aware. We're all responsible. A texting and driving prevention ad would show you some shocking statistics. Or maybe a sad family member that lost someone. They might even show you the last text they sent to scare you. But one of the most scariest statistics is about time. Specifically, the amount of time you're not able to watch the road. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. One of my most rewarding experiences as a dietitian has been actually quite recently, just a year ago, when I met Donna because she was so motivated and ready to lose weight and to get healthier. Well, since I've met Sue and listened to her guidance, I've lost about 80 pounds and I have been taken off almost all my medications. To me, I mean, that's something to shout about. I just see the future getting better and better and better because I'm getting healthier and healthier and healthier. Ian Ralston was a combat medic who was injured in Iraq. When I met Ian, I knew he had to help him get his housing grant, an auto grant, and every benefit to live as normal a life as possible. 
and we did. PVA has helped hundreds of thousands of veterans get the care and benefits they've earned. My name is Jason Stevenson, and I work for Paralyzed Veterans of America. Paralyzed Veterans of America. Changing lives. Building futures. We're back at Sheboygan, and uh, starting lineups for tonight's game for Fond du Lac Falcons will be number 10, Mo Crane. Oh, we're going to stop and uh, wait till we get our national anthem here. We'll uh, listen as Penny Molesky goes through the starting lineups for both squads. First for the uh, Fond du Lac Falcons. Now for the Wombats. And now your UW Sheboygan Wombats are coached by Joe Saran, assisted by Manny Heights at center from Sheboygan North. Number one, Lucas McKnight. At forward from Sheboygan Falls, number five, Nick Holster. At guard from Sheboygan North, number 11, Jeff Getch. At guard from Dr. Brenda High School in Milwaukee, number Hollis must have got lost on the way to school. <laughs> He's from Georgia. Our officials tonight are uh, Bob Haymauer, Scott Otten, and Terry Verstrati. We know two of the three. Uh, they'll do a nice job tonight. They've been around the block, so to speak. Strati throws it up and uh, Fond du Lac controls the tip. Sh 
Boy, and in the man-to-man -man defense, Chris, a little chancy with a short squad, don't you think? You know, pick up a couple fouls. Well, they only have seven, Marty. That's that's, that's my point. Yeah, going to be interesting to see how it goes. Shot is off the rim. McKnight with the rebound. Remember, there's a shot clock tonight, Marty, and two halves, not four quarters. Yeah. McKnight from the free throw line couldn't get it. Had a good look at it, though. Rebound by Getch is up and in. Dirty Pickards are leading scorer. Getch with the rebound. Gets it over to Hawkins. Bondelak playing the zone this time, Marty. Yeah, they only have eight on their squad. So they have to be careful, too. The ball is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with Sheboygan. The numbers don't quite match up, Chris. Who's number five for Sheboygan? Shot from the deep corner is good. It's a three. Five to nothing, Sheboygan. I think that's I think that's Holsher. Yeah, Holsher. Number five, not thirty-one. Ball goes on Hawkins. That's his first. Can't get him in foul trouble. No. You don't want to get anybody, anybody in, in foul, foul trouble. trouble. <laughs> Catch kind of lost track of his guy there for a second. Standing shot jumper. The, yes. Shot is no good by uh, Crane. Sheboygan comes away with the rebound. Jump shot from the free throw line. Hits nothing. Hits everything and drops through for uh, Hollis. Hulcher. Good Seven start. Seven to nothing, Sheboygan. Yeah, great start. Three for four shooting. Pickard looked like he had a shot but didn't take it from uh, inside the circle. Osbekan dishes it off to uh, Crane, but uh, his shot was missed. Knight had it on the baseline but uh, didn't throw up the contested shot. And uh, Getch not expecting that one. Layup is up and good by Mo Crane. And uh, Fond du Lac's on the board. I don't have anything on Mo Crane for stats or anything. Sometimes you get kids that come up in the semester. Well, sure, again from three-point land, couldn't get it. Getch tips it out to uh, McKnight, and Sheboygan keeps it. 16-30. Holsher, 6'5", big kid. That was going to be a dump down pass by Hawkins to uh, Getch. Getch wasn't looking for it, but uh, Sheboygan lucked out as Fondy tipped it out. Dominic Fister in the game for the Falcons. Tried to skip pass, but didn't get it over the defense. Over to Fister, his layup is good. Both Fond du Lac baskets are off turnovers, Marty. That's not a good thing. Looks like Fond du Lac wants to get out and run if they have the chance. Hawkins over the hole, sure. Missed dribble, another turnover by the Wombats. And it's third time they're going to Fister gonna, uh, fouled on the layup attempt by McKnight. Third time to get a chance to uh, run it. Score on that situation.
Dominic Fister has been uh, pretty active since he stepped on the floor, Chris. He has a basket, and now he's get made his free throw. Couldn't get that one to go. Getch goes high for the rebound. He's got three already. He's only played four minutes. Well, Sheboygan has it uh, tipped away by uh, Osbekan. Good ball movement. Outside shot from three-point land is good by Sawyer Hoff. He's their second leading scorer in the conference. 10-7 a game. It's 8-7 to seven now, an eight-point run by uh, Fond du Lac. To creep right back in to get the lead. Well, after four turnovers, Marty. Osher's shot from out is no good. And a good block out by Hoff to keep uh, McKnight from getting the rebound. For two, Josiah, Sheboygan's leading scorer in the ball game. And uh, Getch getting a well-deserved rest. Holscher almost had to steal, but then it's a double dribble by uh, Fister, and Sheboygan will get it. I don't know about you, Chris, but uh, Nick Holscher is the tallest guy on the floor, and uh, he's one of the guys furthest away from the basket. Yep, yep. They seem to be uh, flashing Getch more often into that middle spot. Maybe McKnight will take it now. Nope. <laughs> Holscher not expecting that pass. <laughs> Josiah tried to dump it into McKnight. It goes off of his hands. Another turnover by Sheboygan. It's a bad, oh, quick pass up the middle, but uh, nothing came of it. They're trying to catch Sheboygan asleep. And shuffling the feet was uh, Adam Kluppert. Kluppert snuck in when we weren't looking. You know it's a bad sign when you're surprised when Sheboygan gets a shot instead of a turnover. Holscher, good look, rims it in. Another three-pointer for that young man. Two of four from out there. Yep, he's got eight points. Hawkins a little late on the steal attempt. Wide open from the wing is Hoff, and he scores a three-pointer. Second one of the game. Bondi back on top, 11 to 10. Hawkins, Holscher, five footer is no good. Did a good job of penetrating, but couldn't get the shot to drop. Another three ball by Hoff is no good. Hawkins with the rebound. Didn't have his feet set that time, Marty. Holscher, wide open. Way short. He's Ten not afraid footer. to shoot. Oh, <laughs> boy. It hit every part of the rim but wouldn't go in, but coming away with the rebound was Tyler Hollis. And Hawkins trying to dump it down, threw it away. Oh, a nice play by Osbakan. And uh, scoring the layup was uh, Miller. And we get a timeout, Sheboygan. Full timeout, Kerry, so let's take a break. Gift giving is hard. Gift giving is an art. What do you give the person who's got everything? I gave her a heifer. You're giving me a cow for my birthday? It's a farm animal. It's more than a gift. A farm animal helps families in hunger. Gifts like this change lives. Give different. Christmas, Valentine's Day, Hanukkah, whatever you want. Give a family life. It's more than a gift. It's the best gift I ever gave. Back at UW Sheboygan, uh, Fond du Lac has started off. They were down 7 to nothing, and then they had an 8-point run, and uh, they've tacked on a five more points to counteract the Sheboygan 3, and they lead it right now 13 to 10. Uh, turnovers have been key for Sheboygan, however. 
Yes, they have. They have six already, Marty, and they're shooting 40%, but uh, getting a lot of second opportunities, too. They do have three <laughs> offensive rebounds, but uh, the turnovers have definitely been the difference. Kerry Coulter is our director tonight. Uh, working graphics in the truck with Kerry is Eric Wiesman. Sean Delahunt and Richard Bartson are our camera people. Uh, Sean giving you that shot. Richard is way up on top. Gotta way up on top. Whoa, that's, whoa, look at that angle. Got to take some cotton up there for nosebleeds. Chris is, Chris Wright doing color and Mike Martin doing play-by-play. Josiah hasn't even had a shot yet, Chris. He's their second leader. Scoring from the outside is uh, Devin DeMaster. First game, first shot, first basket. That's a three, or was a three. Pretty good ball movement by Sheboygan. Hawkins from outside, couldn't get it in. McKnight not able to control it. Crane does, pushing hard to the basket and he draws the foul on Hol Holscher. Crane will go to the line there, you can watch it. Good use of the body by Crane to protect the ball. Yep. That's the third team foul on Sheboygan. Bondelak hasn't committed one. He had a good shot of Mo Crane. A lot of back and forth here, Chris, with lead changes. Yeah, one, two, three, four lead changes. Lead changes. McKnight and Holscher out. Catches pass to the wing, was tipped out of bounds. Oh no. I thought that was definitely tipped, didn't you? No, I thought he threw it out. Okay. Well, I guess my umpire days are coming to an end. <laughs> told my wife a, a week or so ago that uh, I think this is going to be my last year umpiring. She says, you say that every year. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well do it as long as you can. Even if you can't see. <laughs> Good hustle by Getch to keep it in play for Sheboygan. Hawkins couldn't get it. A lot of hustle for the ball. Crane has it. Nice pass to Osbakan, and he lays it up and in. They get a lot of baskets on the fast break, Marty. They do. You're right. 16 to 13. Fondy, nice pass. Look at that. Good bounce pass. Easy pass to handle when you're taking the uh, fast break layup. And we're going to get our first foul on uh, Fond du Lac. Foul's going to be on uh, John Osbakan. 10.35 left in the first half. Josiah, bango. Good inbounds play. Stolen away, good steal there by uh, Hollis. They gave a him whistle. a two on that, Marty, yep. not a three? Oh, right, right. he was way inside the line, wasn't even close. Oh. <laughs> I didn't make, mean to make you feel bad, but. Okay, that one's a three, bingo. Josiah for another basket, this time a three-pointer like Chris called. 
Sheboygan back on top. Crane, dump inside. A oh, little layup attempt is no good, and then Sheboygan can't control. Missing that uh, short one was James Robb. And uh, his reward for missing is take a seat. Checking back in was Sawyer Huff. Well, late on getting, late on the recovery, and uh, it was an easy shot for Hoff. Conference play, that's six games. He's got 11 threes. He's got three more to add to that total. Sawyer Huff. Skip pass is intercepted. like doing a pretty good job of penetrating Chris and then dishing. Fourth turnover on Fond du Lac. Josiah couldn't get the layup. Getch on the rebound, put back does. Sheboygan back on top, 20 to, eight, 20 to 19. Getch with five rebounds through first 11 minutes here. Hollis with the rebound. Josiah. And Sheboygan loses it. Another turnover. McKnight and Holscher back in. DeMaster and uh, Hawkins coming out. Hawkins getting a well-deserved break. Chris, he's been uh, out there quite a long time, hustling up and down the floor. Fister uh, took steps before he got the dribble down. Turnover by Fond du Lac. There haven't been many for them, Chris, or nope. has there? They've got six. Ooh, they do have that many. A lot of late. Nice pass. Inside to McKnight. Shot is off, no good by Hollis. Had a good look. Huff, 15 footers down. He looks pretty good, Chris. He's from Lamira, the Lamira Lions. I think they churn out some pretty good shooters over there. Another turnover. Can Getch get it? And a tie up. 30-second timeout by Sheboygan to keep the possession. We'll keep it here. Our next game, Chris, is going to be uh, Friday, this Friday, January 30th, when Pulaski comes to Sheboygan to play north. And uh, we have a guest announcer that night, Ben Van Vagel. So uh, all his girlfriends are going to want to watch then. Yep. North coming off a tough loss to Ashwabanon. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I guess they were way down and came back. Uh, only to lose, obviously, like Chris said. That was a key loss, too. Now they have two conference losses. and uh, The Pier and Bayport still have still one have loss. One each. Okay. And uh, Ashwabanon has two. So it's still a tight race. Nice. Quick pass into Josiah, and he scores an easy basket. Caught Fond du Lac sleeping there. Yeah, certainly did. Watch the replay. Boom. Good pass, good finish. Shot from the outside is good. A three-pointer that time by uh, Micah Callies. Fondy goes up two. Getch needs to get out of the lane. It could have called a three-second uh, violation a while ago. Nice three-pointer that time by Nick Holscher. He's got more points, Chris. He's got a bundle. 
shot is up and good Mueller. by Mueller. Mueller. It's a three ball, too. Josiah from outside the line couldn't get it. Hollis uh, had inside position. It looked like Callies was uh, over the back, but no call. Catch coming out and uh, checking back in for Sheboygan is uh, George Hawkins. Maybe they'll catch him sleeping again, Chris. Yep. 6.40 left. Fond du Lac up two. Good ball movement. Shot in and out, no good. Josiah with the rebound. Good feed inside to uh, McKnight, but he kicks it right back out. Hawkins. Uh, bounce pass is thrown away, but uh, scrapping for it is uh, Hollis. And then we get a whistle. Ball's going to go on Fond du Lac. Callis has uh, got two, Chris. They're leaving him in. Nope. Coming in is going to be uh, Colin Pickert. He's averaging 22 in league play. Pickert. I don't What's believe. What's he doing sitting down? I don't believe he's got a basket. I think he's 0 for 1 so far. Oh. In and out and back in again for uh, Cortu Josiah. All inside, that's going to go on uh, Sheboygan's Tyler Hollis. Atlanta, or uh, Georgia's. South Cobb, Georgia. Fister on the line, shooting two again. He did not start tonight's game, but uh, he's been around the action for a good part of this first half. He's got four points now. I know Chris has got him for some other stats, rebounds or turnovers or something. He's from St. John's Military Academy. Bondi on top, 29-28. There's uh, five minutes and 45 seconds left in the first half. Hawkins couldn't get it. McKnight, put back is good. Oh, not good defense there. Mo Crane scoring an easy basket. That time Sheboygan fell asleep on the D. They're like going back and forth with the lead, Marty. Exactly. Hawkins with a teardrop and he got it to go. Nice shot by George Hawkins. Kick out pass, uh, shot is no good. Nice pass by uh, Osbakan. Holscher, bango. Long three off a nice pass from uh, Josiah. It's five of 11 from the floor here in the first half. Don't leave him open. A little bit short that time for uh, Hoff. Sheboygan up four. Five rebounds for Hollis now. Sheboygan opening up the lead a little bit. Knight tries to get it down inside to uh, Hollis, but uh, stolen away by Fond du Lac. Osbakan's layup is no good. McKnight looked like he got the arm of the uh, Fond du Lac shooter, but no call. We're under four minutes now. Left in the first half. Holscher, not bashful. Chris called it before. Go, 
Hawkins with a strong drive and a reverse layup for two. Walking with the basketball prior to the shot was uh, Colin Pickert. Sheboygan up by six, 37 to uh, 31. Not sure about that call. Core to Josiah from Oosburg. Getch, pretty good look in the middle of the lane. He's a high riser, Chris, on that shot. And Holscher uh, blocks a shot, but is going to pick up his second foul. Going to the line is going to be Mo Crane. That's a big foul, Chris. Can you afford to leave uh, Holscher in there? I would say no. Lucas getting ready to go back in. Nick Holscher is going to take a seat. He's from Sheboygan Falls. He's a purple bird, former purple bird. He has 14 points in his first half, Chris. Yeah, the free throw missed what happened here, Chris. I know there was something. Josiah uh, stuck his foot out. They called a trip. So he picked up a foul is what you're saying. He did. Just the 15 foul. Kick out to Hoff. Couldn't get it. Getch with the rebound. His sixth of the half. Under three minutes. Short. The master shot was blocked. McKnight with the rebound. That putback is up and in. That's another rebound basket for uh, Lucas McKnight. Yeah, he's got three offensive rebounds, Marty. Very active on the offensive glass. And the lead's Back seven, seven now for Yeah, Shibuya. that's their largest lead of the half. They had it at the beginning of the game. Oh, easy shot missed by uh, Adam Kluppert. And uh, caught a break. Hit off uh, Terry Verstrati's head, but uh, eventually went out of bounds anyway. Another turnover by the Wombats. They got to be in double figures by now. Yep, at 11. Osbican got away with a walk. Josiah trying to get the ball, couldn't. Fond du Lac has it. And a turnover again, Hawkins. Hawkins going to go all the way. Oh, man. Did a good job of blocking out Mo Crane, but uh, couldn't get the shot up over the rim, and then it's uh, off Sheboygan. We are now under two minutes left in the first half. Sheboygan still up seven, 39-32. Hoff outside the line. DeMaster commits the foul. That could almost be after the shot, though, but they're going to give him three. I don't know about you, Chris, but I think this Sawyer off is a pretty good shooter. Well, going for the trifecta here. Sheboygan finished, well, it was up by seven. Just let's finish the half out here. 39-35. 
Hawkins from way downtown couldn't get it. Getch couldn't get it, was tipped over to McKnight and he puts it up for another basket. An eye on Hoff. Steal by Sheboygan. Fondy starting to do some of the same things Sheboygan was doing earlier on, Chris. It'll be interesting to see what the disparity in the turnovers is between these two squads. Closed, wide, closed w quite a bit. Yep. But a minute left. The shot clock rolls back to 35. I have nine turnovers now on Fond du Lac. And Terry Verstrati is going to come over and say, uh-oh, not right. Going to roll it down to uh, 21 seconds left on the shot clock. A minute of time left in the first half. Josiah has it out on top. Fond du Lac continues in that 2-3 zone. Sheboygan should get a two for one here. And Getch. <laughs> Pretty slick, keeping control of the ball. The master driving baseline had his shot blocked. And a quick out. Fondy couldn't get it, but a putback is up and good by uh, Kluppert. And he's You're hustled a couple times for that, Marty. I was going to say, they really got that fast break going quick. And he's he's hustled down, Adam has. He's from Here's Ripon. About, I was going to say about a second or so between the real time and shot clock time so Sheboygan can run it down for uh, one shot. They're up four. Hawkins lost it. another fast break attempt. McKnight has it as the buzzer goes off and we're at halftime here in Sheboygan with the Wombats on top 41 to 37. This video was submitted by a student through the Teens Drive Smart program. For more information on teen safety, visit teensdrivesmart.com. Don't allow your weight to threaten your health or control your future. Excess weight or obesity can cause emotional and physical health risks, but you can take control. The Your Weight Matters campaign offers free resources and tips to help you measure and understand your weight. Take the Your Weight Matters challenge. The free toolkit prepares you to speak with a healthcare provider about your weight. Your weight does matter. Take the challenge and take control today. Sometimes, even the rescuers need to be rescued. So the Coast Guard Foundation. Find out how you can help at rescuetherescuers.org. This little chick has hearing loss. It can be lonely, sad, and often accompanied by ringing in the ears or even loss of balance. But there's good news, because birds have an almost magical way of regenerating their inner ear cells to restore their own hearing so they can live a happy, chirpy lifestyle. Imagine if science could achieve the same miracle with people. While at Hearing Health Foundation, we support research that is doing just that. Visit us at hhf.org and learn more about the cure for hearing loss and tinnitus. To start second half action, we have some scoring for you from the first half. First for Fond du Lac, Mo Crane finished with six points. And John Osbakan, their good ball handler, finished with two. Uh, leading the Fond du Lac uh, Falcons was Sawyer Hoff, number 21, with 14 points. Brandon Miller, Micah Callies, each had five. Adam Clapp Kluppert, pardon me, had two, and Micah Callies had uh, three. For uh, Sheboygan, Lucas McKnight was uh, tough on the offensive glass. He had three put-back baskets for six points in that first half. 
Portu Josiah had 10 points. Uh, Jeff Getch had four. Nick Holscher sat out the last couple minutes of the first half, finished with 14 first half points. Uh, George Hawkins had four points, and Devin DeMaster hit a three for three points. Free throw shooting for uh, Fond du Lac. They hit eight out of 11 for uh, 73%. Sheboygan didn't even shoot any free throws. Chris, you got some rebounding and uh, turnover stats for us. Well, the key was the turnovers, I thought, for Sheboygan. They had 12, but it didn't hurt them. They're winning, which is good. But uh, good sh shooting so far for uh, Sheboygan, though, 17 of 36 shooting. That's a pretty good start. But once just to start the quarter or half, we get just like where we started the game with a turnover. That's number 13. Catch uh, jumping in the air, trying to make the pass. You don't want to do that. It's, uh, it's poor fundamentals. Catch with a steal. Holcher almost had it tipped away by Osbeken. <laughs> he was looking for two points on the other end. Penny told us that uh, Tyler Hollis is actually from Atlanta at South Cobb High School in Atlanta. Yeah. Getch with the rebound, trying to force it in. Does get it to McKnight, who dumps it in to uh, Hawkins, and he shoots it up and in. Nice pass by McKnight. Hawkins for two. There you see it. Hawkins, two of nine from the floor. He's got six points. Must be three of ten, Chris. Yep, three of nine. You're right. My fault. Osbican with a driving layup. Holcher uh, had it tipped away, but uh, John Osbican is going to pick up the foul, and that'll be his uh, second personal, Chris. That's almost automatic. You're reaching around like that. He probably could have let it go if he wouldn't have lost the ball, but as soon as you uh, do that, commit the foul, and he loses the ball, then you got to call it. Otherwise, Mr. Wright is going to let you know about it. Holscher from outside the line. Couldn't get it. And then he, he tips it away. Good move by McKnight, and he scores. Foul's going to go on number 23, Brandon Miller. First free throw of the night for Sheboygan coming up. Sean Delahunt giving you that shot right there. Richard Bartson running the top camera up there. Right on cue, Kerry. Good job. Nice start for Sheboygan, just like the beginning of the game. That's a crazy yeah, shot kind by Kind of Green. a wild shot, right? Hollis with his seventh rebound. Hollis, quick trigger, couldn't get it. McKnight kicks it back out. Hawkins uh, not very close on that shot. Osbican driving in the lane. I thought Crane got away with the walk. What about yep. you, Chris? Osbican. <laughs> no good, and uh, Getch with the rebound. Sheboygan. Seven point lead early on here in the second half. Getch dumps it inside to McKnight, but uh, he doesn't look to shoot. Hollis doesn't look to shoot either. He was open. He's only looked to shoot once all night. And uh, Hawkins got hit in the eye. Slow getting back. Hopefully he'll be okay. Good hands inside by uh, Tyler Hollis, who tipped it out of bounds. Coming in for Sheboygan will be uh, Cortu Josiah. Kind of nice to have your uh, leading scorer come off the bench, Chris. Yep. 
I got a story from the early 60s, back when I was in seventh grade. You got poked in the eye? No, no, we had a guy come off the bench, and it seemed like more often than not, he'd come off the bench, and within a minute or two, he'd have a basket. That's a travel on Osbeck fan. Hopefully, he'll be okay. Tommy Martin, you remember him? Uh, that, yep. Pretty good uh, Pretty good basketball, baseball player, actually. Uh, played a few years with the Sheboygan A's. Yep. Lives down in Tennessee now, but uh, he had that knack, at least when he was an eighth grader, coming off the bench and uh, providing some scoring punch. There's Hollis. Oh, couldn't get it in. Hoff gets the rebound over Getch. Fister got a up. Oh. Good call by uh, referee Bob Hamauer. Another turnover by uh, Fond du Lac. Scott Otten in your camera view right there, tossing it in. I remember when Scott was in his early years refereeing, he had hair then. <laughs> Josiah with a runner, couldn't get it, McKnight Trying to save it, but couldn't come up with it. And Fondy trying to run. Fister with a nice pass inside, but the shot was missed by Kluppert. <clears throat> Fond du Lac tries to run, Chris. Uh, you mentioned that early on, but the, uh, they do a pretty good job of getting back on defense. See who picks up that Fond du Lac. Number 34 is uh, Micah Callies, and that's his third foul, Chris. Pickert and Miller check in for uh, the Falcons. Pickert has been a non-factor. 22 points a game average oh. in league play. I don't think he has scored a point. Maybe he's got a twin brother. Steal. Osbekan throws it up and he got it and he's fouled. Oh my. Watch Literally. this. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Foul goes on uh, Sheboygan's Tyler Hollis, his second. With the free throw, it's now 46 to 42, Sheboygan on top. Getch trying to muscle in, and he gets tied up. I know some words exchanged between uh, Jeff and uh, Sawyer. I think they're still friends out there. Goes down as a turnover for Sheboygan, however. Osbakan goes right around Holscher, but uh, couldn't get the layup to drop. Hawkins got the jump shot to go. Some people uh, asking for a travel. I thought he got the ball down in time. I did too. And most important, so did the guys with the striped shirts. And he made the basket. Well, I pass up a shot from underneath the basket for a three-pointer. I guess it was worth it. Brandon Miller with a three. Yeah, he's three for three from the floor. Just like that, it's back to three. Every yeah. time I think Sheboygan's comfortably ahead. Hawkins drives around Fister and gets the roll. Another basket for George. He's starting to get hot. Only had two baskets in the first half. He's got three already, and we have 14 minutes left. Hoff, a little bit short. Good quick pass to McKnight. Turn around in the lane, couldn't get it in. Nice kick up pass by Getch. I got 10 rebounds for Getch. Sounds about right. 
He's not very tall, but he jumps well, and uh, he's strong inside. There he goes again, took it right away from Josiah. And Josiah saying, come on, let me have one. No, you get your points, I'll get my boards. McKnight draws the foul. Hopefully nobody's hurt. Watch this fake. Whoop, picking up the foul is going to be Pickard. And Lucas helps him up. Knight will be shooting two. A little bit of chirping going on around here. Not by me. You're thinking it. <laughs> I can hear those thoughts. Are these the first free throws for Sheboygan tonight? No. Uh, McKnight had one a little bit earlier. All right. Oh, yeah, on that three-point. Yeah, on a three-point play. Yep. Shot by Crane, bango! Three-pointer is good by that young man. Fifty-one to forty-eight, Sheboygan on top. New defense. One, three, one. Hawkins couldn't get it. Bondi on the run. Crane to Fister, and the layup is good. And the lead's down to one, Marty. Yeah, they've been battling back, and they continue to try and run at every opportunity. And a turnover. Crane going to take it to the hoop. Short, short-armed it. Couldn't get it in. McKnight with another rebound. I don't know about you, Chris, but I think Fondy is well coached on that fast break. Boy, they yep, really they get it run. Go. Catch. Short jumper in the lane, got it in. It's nice, easy dump, and two. And same thing on the other side. Nice, easy dump, and two. Sheboygan still up one. Full timeout for Sheboygan with 12.08 left. They lead it 53-52. to 52. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox and PBS combined. Peg Access channels provide communities with a diverse, independent and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. In Wisconsin, the law... A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. Back at UW Sheboygan coming out of a timeout. Sheboygan on top, 53-52. We have 12.08 remaining in the ball game. Well, just 30% shooting to start the second half for Sheboygan. The lead's cut to one. But they have the ball and they're still leading. Kind of a seesaw game earlier in the first half, but Sheboygan kind of pulled away. Kick out to Crane, and Hawkins lets him go. See, Crane scores another fast break basket for uh, That's their the Falcons. first lead in a long time, Marty. Yeah. They're trying to apply the pressure with this 1-3-1 one, one zone. Yeah. 
Outside to Getch. Leap at shot is no good. Rebound put back is no good and DeMaster comes away with the loose ball. Not a good pass attempt there, Chris. Just glad he didn't throw it towards us. <laughs> or the camera. Yeah, Sean down there is living in danger. Oh, good fast break. Layup by Osbakan is good. And uh, Fond du Lac is starting to turn it around here. Chris, they're up three, 11 minutes left. This 1-3-1 oh. defense has uh, made a big difference. Turnover, Bugaboo is hitting Sheboygan again. Hawkins breaks the spell. Finally on the board was a six point run by Fond du Lac. 17 turnovers now in the game for Sheboygan. Ooh. Come on, defense, let's go. They were down four but had a lead at halftime and uh, they gotta be more than four turnovers ahead of uh, Fond du Lac. Nice inbounds play, easy basket for Pickert. He had nothing until recently. The one three one is kind of put a little slow. <laughs> Josiah lost it on the way up and it went in. That's not what he'll tell you. That was intentional. It was a teardrop. <laughs> Crane, no good. Ball is going to go on Sheboygan's Tyler Hollis. That's his third. Crane at the line will shoot two. Earlier in the half, uh, John Osbakan had a chance at a three-point play and made his free throw. So these two here are only the second and third free throws of the half for Fond du Lac. Not a good release that time. Holscher with the rebound. Well, hopefully Sheboygan dodged their bullet. Hawkins for two. He's hit Boygan back on top. He's hit four of his last five shots, Marty. By the way, Chris, you had mentioned earlier there had to be a lot of lead changes in that first half, and I counted them up. I forgot to mention this early on. 17 lead changes in the first half. And it could be this way all the way to the finish. Yeah, and I'll tell you, Polsher picks up his third ball. That's key. You gotta well, keep him in the ball game. Yeah, there's 10 minutes left, basically, 9.51. He's looking to the bench. By the way, we're all tied up now at 59. Oh. 60-59, Fondy on top. Pickert uh, made those two. Good work, Holscher from outside the line. Got it, nice pass from Cortu Josiah. Well, he had five buckets in the first half. Wow, big collision down there on the floor. Let's see what happened. Is there a replay of that, Kerry? Or probably not, huh? That's Here. gonna be his fourth, Marty. Oh, we got to play a little smarter than that, Chris. Well, here it is. Let's see. Well, we couldn't oh, get it up. Oh, he threw it camera. up at the basket. So that's why he's getting sh shot attempts. Colin Pickard now with uh, three free throws in a row. And a couple baskets. Yeah, so two, he's up to four, seven. five, six, seven points. You're right. He had nothing in the first half. 
And you're saying he's the guy that averages 22 a game? In conference play. Yeah. So don't like getting him going, but he is. We're all tied now at 62. 920 left in the ball game. Fondy pulling their defense up a little bit. McKnight traveled. Another turnover. Chris counting him up. He can't 18. count that fast. 18. Fond du Lac with 11. Yeah, that's uh, quite Excuse a me. difference. 12. Yeah, that's still quite a difference. And we're even. And another foul by Sheboygan. This one's going to go on George Hawkins. And it's the uh, fifth team foul. Good kick out pass. Crane from outside the line had a great look at a three but couldn't make it. And another rebound for Jeff Getch. Number 12. Hawkins from 10, bango. He is hot. A little bit of penetration, a steal by Sheboygan. Hawkins bringing it back, pushing the action. Layup wow. is good. Hawkins on fire. And Fond du Lac calls a timeout. Full timeout, Kerry, let's take a short break. Chris needs to catch his breath. You show your smile to the world every day, but nearly four out of five Americans say they would smile a lot more if their teeth looked better. The good news is healthy teeth can be safely and affordably corrected at any age. Advances in orthodontics have made the treatment more successful and comfortable than ever. Only orthodontists receive two to three years of education beyond dental school to learn the proper way to align and straighten teeth. To learn more, visit mylifemysmile.org. See Coach uh, Joe Servant talking to the troops. Pick was outside on the playground, Chris. He'd be drawing it in the dirt. Yep. George Hawkins, six of his last seven, Marty, and seven for 11 in the half. What do we got? 18 points for him? He's starting to carry the load, that's for sure. And that's a good thing because uh, Nick Holscher, who looks like their high scorer, out of Sheboygan Falls is uh, on the bench right now with four fouls. So uh, George Hawkins definitely picking up the slack. Holscher, I believe, has 17, Marty. That could be. Sheboygan up four. Sheboygan continuing in the man to man defense. Hoff has been a guy that hasn't scored a whole lot. Good D by Getch. Yeah. In the first half, Hoff had uh, 14 points. Getch couldn't get it to go. Osbican. Layup attempt is no good. Nobody went for the rebound except the master, and he comes away with it, and here comes Hawkins. Short-armed it, trying to get it around. Miller and did, but couldn't make the layup. Miller, a little out of control, couldn't get it in. Josiah pushing the action. Nice bounce pass to Hawkins for two. Josiah with another assist, and Hawkins with another basket. And up and down they go. Yep. Better be careful on those replays, you're gonna miss some action. Six point lead, seven minutes left. Osbican around and out. Hawkins pushing the action, off to Getch. Short arm, the layup attempt, short arm it again. Chris 
Crane in the lane to Osbican. His shot is no good. Gets high for the rebound, but uh, could only tip it out. Bondi coming in with uh, three new players. And Hollis coming back in for uh, DeMaster. Osbican has missed his last, what was I going to say, four to five? Yeah, he's had some looks, that's for sure. Short. Shot is no good. Hawkins comes away with the rebound. Scoop shot is up and in. He's looking pretty good, Chris. 70 to 62, largest lead for Sheboygan in the ball game right now at eight. And Hoff gets caught for the carry and that was a good call, he definitely did that. 14th turnover now. Hawkins walking right in front of us, Chris. He looks pretty tired. <laughs> nice, nice pass, pass inside to Hollis for two. He's doing it all at George Hawkins, Chris. And Fond du Lac doesn't call timeout. No, six minutes left, and uh, Sheboygan has a 10-point lead. Long three is off, no good. Gets and his own Hollis, rebound. Yeah, Hollis should have went for the ball instead of looking for the layup on the other end. Crane, dish off to Hoff, no good. They've missed a bunch. Yeah, Fond du Lac is having trouble. Hawkins, layup, no good. Josiah with the rebound, he pulls it back out. Oh, no. Ball goes out of bounds. 10 point run for Sheboygan, Chris. Fond du Lac got a couple of free throws from Colin Pickert to tie it at 62. And since that time, it's been Hawkins, 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 Hawkins. And Hollis. 526 left. We have a full timeout. We're going to take another break. They gripped the wheel of a Humvee in Afghanistan. 12 years, flying choppers. My hands, they're here for the person who fought in Afghanistan. I made the call and got support for my sister. Mine take care of the person who flew those helicopters. And if life gets overwhelming, they're ready to dial the veterans crisis line. Confidential help is just a call, click, or text away. Bye. Jen, I'm here. Okay, why are you wearing that? Because we are going golfing. I would, except I got a lot of stuff I gotta get oh, done. Oh, no, no more to-do lists, no more laundry. We are gonna go have fun. I mean, we've always wanted to learn how to play golf, yeah. right? So, it's playtime. Come on. Okay, well, what am I gonna wear? You can learn how to play golf with five lessons from a PGA or LPGA instructor starting at only $99. Go to GetGolfReady.com, get ready to play. Back at uh, UW Sheboygan, uh, the Wombats are up by 10, 72 to 62, uh, based on the strength of a 10 point run. Eight of those points by uh, George Hawkins. Well, let's see if they can finish, Marty. Boyan continuing in their man-to-man -man defense. Shot inside by Micah Callies is no good, but he does draw the foul. Foul goes on uh, Hollis. Hollis with four fouls. Got two guys with four yeah. fouls now, and we're under five minutes. You have a 10-point lead. I would take them both out, Marty. See if you can get a couple minutes, right? George had his three minute rest. He's back in yeah, two really. at the timeout. And well, this is a good substitution, I think, yep. Chris. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Oh, he's got, uh, he's got Nick Holscher back on the floor with four. You just gotta hope that uh, Nick plays a little smarter. Maybe work some clock here. Earlier in the uh, half, this 1-3-1 one, one bothered Sh Sheboygan, but uh, They've got it figured out here. 
Defense has changed again, Chris. Holsher not bashful like he's been all night. McKnight with the rebound. Hawkins, teardrop, no. And Hoff with the rebound. Hoff, no. Nope. Short again, and Getchen thought he had the rebound, but he had it tipped away. And we got a travel called on Fond du Lac's Mo Crane. We got two for the officials left. You can have a timeout anytime you want, Terry. <laughs> You're getting tired. Boygan does have only one timeout, Marty. Wow. There's oh. an easy foul. Yeah. Foul committed by uh, Micah Callies. Uh, that's his fourth, Chris. Sheboygan has six team fouls. Fond du Lac now has five. Well, that was an easy call. I don't know what Callis is complaining about. Not really. Slapped him right there. Whoa! Josiah with the pass. It sails over McKnight's hand out of bounds. Another turnover. That's got to be, we got to be approaching 20, huh? I mean, over 20 maybe by now? Under four minutes left in the ball game. A little give and go action and uh, scoring for Fond du Lac is uh, Brandon Miller on a nice play. Sheboygan's lead now is down to six. Sheboygan's at 19, Marty, 19 turnovers. Hawkins getting trapped in the corner, does Getch a good job open. of getting it. Getch couldn't catch it. Gathered it back and couldn't make the short shot. Shot clock resets. 319. Hawkins uh, is going to be fouled by uh, Dominic Fister. For Dominic, that's his first. Both teams now with six fouls. Next, a foul by either squad. We'll uh, put the other team in the bonus. There, you saw the scoreboard? Yep. And the shot clock does reset on that foul, so. Six point lead, three minutes left. Try, oh. Catch got fouled inside, he's gonna be shooting. Now it becomes a free throw shooting contest, Chris. I thought he may have walked. Left-handers don't walk. Okay. <laughs> Sixty-four percent this year from free throw line. There's a big one. I didn't think the release was real sweet, but the results were excellent. You didn't get that hand flop down. You know, you follow through. Put your hand in a cookie jar. Let's see if he does it this time. A little bit. Got them both in, that's the important part. Yeah. Back to an eight point lead for Sheboygan. I'd like to say a little more foul through Marty, but like you said, got the job done. It's kind of like that shank and gulp that goes right next to the hole. <laughs> Another miss by Fond du Lac. They've really had a tough time shooting the basketball here in the second half, Chris. Oh. Getch comes away with it. What a break, Holsher not bashful, fires Bingo. a three and nails it. Oh man. That could just about wrap this up, Marty. I like that 11 point lead. Osbekan throws it out Get to the Crane, board. way deep. Josiah with the rebound, fires it up on the break. McKnight lists the layup, oh no. Osbekan. Bango, nails a three, and a quick timeout by Fond du Lac. Oh man, Chris, it wasn't even that fast of a fast break layup. Just didn't.
simple moments are what make every day count. Back at UW Sheboygan, where the Wombats lead 77 to 69. Uh, Fond du Lac is at a devil of a time making baskets in this half. Um, and uh, on the flip side, George Hawkins for Sheboygan has been a fireball here in the second half. He has uh, 22 points, and of those 22, 18 have come here in the second half. William will have it out. Fond du Lac setting up the full court press, Chris. Fond du Lac just 13 of 31 in the quarter, or half, excuse me. Almost stolen away. McKnight trying to get it. He does. And then we get a three second on Sheboygan. That's going to go against Getch. Hanging out in the lane too long. And that is at least, now that is 20 turnovers, yep. Chris. 2.06 left. Hoff has it on top, being guarded by Getsch. Sheboygan staying in that man-to-man -man defense the whole game. Kick out, Hoff. Short. Yeah, he's been short all second half. And a foul is going to go on number 11, John Osbican. And uh, Cortu Josiah will go to the line to shoot. Well, Huff made three of six in the first half, Marty. He's O for three in the second half from three-point range, that is. We might see the first conference win for the Wombats this season. They'll want us back. Well, we'll demand more money. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Core two, Josiah makes a pair. 79-69, Sheboygan up 10. Kick out Hoff with a nice pass inside. Scoring was Colin Pickert off of that nice pass. Uh -oh. Steal. Three-point attempt. Uh, Pickard with three and a quick timeout again by Fond du Lac. Oh, my. Pickard's 12th. Three in conference play. Came at a bad time, but they still lead by five, Marty. Buck 26 left. Yeah, Pickard has 13 now. Chris, he had nothing in the first half like you had mentioned earlier. Pretty nice crowd here tonight. Sean Delahunt panning the crowd. Yeah, it was a nice crowd tonight. Richard Bartson running the top camera up there. Eric Wiesman on graphics. And Kerry Coutts, our director. Chris Wright doing the play-by-play. -play. Uh, the color, I'm doing the play-by-play. -play. Currently, tonight. Yeah, that might all change. Uh, turnovers have just killed Sheboygan. Yep. And then compound matters, Colin Pickert, their high scorer, is uh, lighting it up here in the second half. I have 21 turnovers for Sheboygan. And that's way too many. I have to take care of the ball the last minute 26. That, what, is that how much is left? Yep. That and make your free throws. And they've done a good job of that. They've made, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven here in the second half. On the season, Sheboygan shooting 62% from the free throw line. Fond du Lac uh, putting a lot of pressure. Sheboygan bringing all their guys up too. You got somebody with a good arm, you might be able to hit McKnight deep. There's an easy play. They got a foul. Oop. And uh, I believe that's going to be uh, Colin Pickard picking up the foul. And Lucas does the right thing and just walks down to the line. Just 
what you want to do. Uh, still not in the double bonus, Chris. He's shooting 63% this season. Get a good shot of Lucas. That looked pretty sweet, Chris. Coach Desatel would appreciate that form. I think he learned that out here. <laughs> Six point 80, lead. Yeah, 80 to 74. Delahunt. They don't need threes. Whoa. Pickard got it and he's fouled. Brandon Miller missed terribly on a three-point attempt. Pickard got the rebound and put it up and in, and he was fouled. Nothing coming easy here for the Wombats. 113 remaining. Eighty to seventy-seven. Not falling yet, but they're gonna fall there. Well, that was close. I thought a little, way too much dribbling, first of all. <laughs> Josiah should be passing the ball and cutting and then get the ball back. 50% free throw shooter going to the line, Marty. Well, make a couple here, Josiah. Show them where you live. We're gonna be here a little bit yet. 108 left in the ball game. <sighs> a little more arch. Fond du Lac still has to put the ball in the hole, boys. Yep, they've You're been, winning. They've been doing a little better job of that, unfortunately. That crawls in there. We'll Four. take the crawler. Yep, two-point, two-possession game right now. They don't need a three. Osbican to Mo Crane. They're going to take hurt. one. Off the glass, no good. Josiah with a good rebound. Kicks it up. Oh. Tick, 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 tick. And McKnight gets fouled. Mo Crane on the foul. For Mo, that's going to be, I've got him as his first foul. I'm not uh, sold that you should have been shooting a three there, Fond du Lac. But uh, I guess he was open. And he is your... Leading shooter from out there. That's a big free throw, Chris, with 50.7 seconds left. It's a five point advantage for Sheboygan. Rattles in. No problem. 83 77. Osbakan trying Thank to create and uh, turned it over. Holscher wants to get fouled. McKnight fouled by Hoff for uh, Sawyer Hoff. That's going to be his first foul. McKnight will be back to the line, Chris. He's been uh, pretty good there in this uh, late first late late game situations. Made three out of four so far. Sorry, Lucas. <laughs> Chris is rolling his eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> Make this a three possession game. Yep. Good one. Look real good on that one. Now they need threes. Yeah. Off to Crane. Back to Hoff. Three Short. Point attempt is no good. Rebound by Sheboygan, Holscher, and he gets fouled. Holscher will be shooting a pair. 
unofficially, I found a lack three of 16 from three point range here in the second half. Wow, that's, uh, that's a lot of misses. A lot of misses is right. They had 50% in the first half, but uh, nothing for them here in the second. Going down. Oh, way short. And a whistle. Bonus for catch commits the foul. Holsher, when he went to the line, Chris had 20 points. He missed them both. Pickard has 16 points as he steps to the line all in the second half. Nineteen seconds remain in the ball game. He looked pretty smooth on those two. Still not over yet. Now I got it eighty five pardon me, eighty four seventy nine. Yes. Eighty four seventy nine. Tony got it figured out there. Been a very entertaining basketball game. Uh, not always the smoothest of uh, play with all the turnovers, but uh, like you had mentioned, they they did it in the first half. They were over able to overcome all the turnovers, and uh, so far they've been able to do it here uh, in the second half. Also, they have a five-point lead with 19 seconds left. You get to 86, Marty, and you can put it in the bank and start collecting interest. Getch gets fouled, he'll be shooting a pair. And that was number five on uh, John Osbakan. He finishes uh, with 12 points, Chris. Uh, I thought uh, John had a better first half than he did a second half but uh, he was definitely a spark out there. Ugh. Telling you, you get to 86, it's over. Maybe 85. Well, <laughs> 86 is and the magic number. They gotta make two threes. Yep, so 86 is the number. There you go. whoop -ah. Oh, Halkins with the steal. Pull it out, George, pull it out. And that's going to be the ball game. They're not going to follow him. Sheboygan's going to pick up a win, 85-79. Good ball game, Chris, well, for Sheboygan. On eight of 10 shooting run for uh, George Hawkins in the middle of that uh, second half. That's a lot of 16 points that really helped the cause. He ended up nine of 16 in the uh, in the half, but that run he had was too much for Fond du Lac to overcome, despite the turnovers. Exactly, despite the turnovers. Sheboygan took care of business. I thought that uh, one of the unsung heroes for Sheboygan, Sheboygan was uh, Jeff Getch with all the rebounds. I know you had him for 13. 13 uh, did a great job there and uh, played pretty good defense. Sheboygan was led by uh, George Hawkins with uh, 22, and chipping in with 20 was uh, Nick Holsher. Uh, for the crew, we mentioned them a couple times tonight, Sean Delahunt and Richard Bartson on camera. Eric Wiesman on graphics, Kerry Coutzer, our director, and your announcers, Mike Martin and Chris Wright. Our next game is going to be on Friday, January 30th, when Pulaski comes to North, and uh, we look forward to bringing you that game. One more time, the she UW Sheboygan Wombats, a winner over Fond du Lac, 85-79. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.